I swear on everything, this is how I feel. Like you got a problem with me, let's sort it out. Because we're going to carry it with us. You want to do that? So people wonder why I engage in conflict. I hate conflict. Mm. It's, and I find it very stressful. Very. But conflict delayed is conflict multiplied. Fire in the hole! Yeah. Huh? Huh? Conflict delayed is conflict multiplied. And who got time for that? Nah, man. Nah. Not me. What up, firing squad? It's your motherfucking captain, man. I know. Niggas didn't think we was going to go two in a row. <laughs> but when the admiral's on the motherfucking job, a.k.a. G Money, what up? Here. You gotta get to work, man. So, uh. Sometimes you gotta talk to the creator. Go let my nigga Eyes Low do what he's supposed to do. Eyes. Let's go, y'all. Yo. Huh. I wanna know where crisis when I'm in the crisis and why I lean on other devices. I'm sick of living wicked one day. Next minute I'm righteous. Just tell me what the meaning of life is. You made me with a purpose. Why work? Can I just do that? How I take a step forward just to take two back. What's the lesson? I'm trying to learn, but I'm sick of guessing. If I'm human, why you asking for perfection? You said before the world you chose me. I don't feel so lucky. If I'm so wonderfully made, why I feel so ugly? How is sin so wicked when it feels so lovely? Guess my question is, do you still love me? How you see us in this chaos and got the power to change it and won't? I would do it if I could, but I can't because I don't. Then he told me, keep faith. The answer is hope. Keep walking. I'm enhancing your growth. You so close to begin to know. Mm. Yes. Why? Of course I'm going to be there, man. Yeah. Welcome back. Two weeks in the road. Two weeks in the road. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Ah, G money. Good to be back. Yeah, definitely. You know, especially when Danny, you know, is hopping on and off the, uh, the Patreon, and this, this is a this is a week. <laughs> Fire in the hole. You know, Danny, man, I gotta, I gotta, we gotta give it, we gotta give another episode. You know, Danny joined the Patreon again this week. Nigga. Um, the intro to this episode, man. <sighs> That 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 shit is so mean, man. Niggas think I like conflict. Like I like being in the midst of conflict. No. The brother said it is so stressful. But what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna drag this shit out. I need to know how you feel, man. I'm like how I'm I'm on it how Negan is on it. What Maggie. And The Walking Dead. Like, what's up? Are we over it? Are we on? What What? What are we doing here? Because I'm not trying to find out when I'm when I'm slipping. That's why I'm head on. When niggas got an issue, I I I go direct. I I don't play. I don't I don't I don't play these games like that. <laughs> That time with Gas Digital and, and 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 these niggas was trying to play with our name. I wasn't I wasn't nah nigga. Not on not on my watch. Go play somewhere else. Because I'm gonna bring it to your front door every time. Because what are we doing here? And the crazy shit is nine times out of ten. It's something that we're not going to even care about in another motherfucking year. So what are we really doing? I'm over it, man. That's why I stay to myself. Like, you know, 
Luis Gomez and I, we were texting back and forth. You know, um, I, I posted last week when we uh, was Before uh, we recorded. Yeah, 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 yeah. and I, I said that I wish you know. Basically, the old Lewis was around, not this this made up avatar that he's living up to. Nigga made a a, a drawing of him, and that nigga went with that drawing. <laughs> this is him now. Until someone draws another action figure version of Lewis, this is gonna be him. You know, um. And he texts me, are you good? Yeah, nigga, I'm good. But we're not. We're not good. I know you're going through a lot. You were supposed to fight this other guy. And, uh, Jason Ellis? And, uh, that guy. Yeah. And everyone's giving you slack about it. I know you just got out of surgery and shit like that. Um, But, dog. We could have been fought. This shit could have been out the way. This, you know, you can already show the world, you know, the skankers <laughs> of what it is. But you, 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 you procrastinated. Now, I'm, I'm off the, I'm off the, I'm off the shelf, bro. I'm, I'm, nah, dog. And I don't like the fact that, you know, everyone turning their back on you and you're going through all of this shit, but you 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 let this avatar get too big. I'm just saying, man, you know? A lot of motherfuckers don't want to deal with conflict. They'll try to deflect, go around, you know, do all of these things to not engage. But it's better to get it over with than to prolong it. So you can get to your get to your real shit that you got going on. What's really going on? Conflict conflict delayed is conflict multiplied. That shit is so a hundred right there. That shit is so a hundred, man. And if we go continue on the path of being 100. I got to give it up to my dude, man. Little Uzi Vert, man. I don't know if you guys remember. It was some time ago. We uh, covered little Uzi Vert uh, walking in some more. And some kid shot his shot that was in college. And ask for Uzi to pay for his uh his tuition. Yeah. And um, you know what? We got the video and we got the update, and we're gonna play that for y'all. But tell me if this shit isn't dope. Press play, G Money. This guy was at the mall when he randomly saw a little Uzi walk by, so he took the shot of a lifetime and asked him this. Can you pay for my college tuition? 90 grand, I go to Temple, bro. 90 grand? I could pay for that. Bro, are you going to finish college? Are you of course. Finish? Three years later, he finished college like he said he would. Mama, I did it! And more importantly, little Uzi kept his promise and paid his tuition in full. Wow. Wow. How? Yo, dude. I mean, yes. The, 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 these generations... This generation that we're dealing with, they got some loose cannons. <laughs> but damn, bro, they got some special ones, bro. Yeah. They got some real special ones, man. He really did that shit. Um, one, I want to give the kid that shot his shot props, man. Shoot your shoot your shot, dog. Yeah. You never know. Ask celebrities for money. <laughs> Any chance you get. <laughs> Fuck pictures, fuck a video, fuck saying happy birthday to your fucking sister, whatever. Hey, yo. Ask them for money. <laughs> that's a that's the new wave. Ask a celebrity for significant amounts of money, okay? But with with a plan, of course. Yeah, no, have Ooh. a yeah, have a plan. You know, um, 
Well, and then I, I got to big up little Uzi Vert, man, because, wow, he's something special. Yeah. He be jumping in kids' TikToks, yeah, pulling yeah, up yeah, at yeah. gas stations, rapping with them. I think I seen some of that on G-Money Talk one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, he's a different kind of guy, man. And, um, yo, man, let's give a gun salute to motherfucking little Uzi Vert. And he's a, he's one of those two that like in situations he doesn't mind looking like a rock star dickhead. So if he were to blow that guy off, it wouldn't hurt him at all. So the fact that he does follow through with this kind of thing like is like pretty cool. Like if I don't know, I'm trying to think of someone who it would kind of hurt more, but he doesn't mind looking like a dickhead. You know, in someone's situation like Drake, it might hurt a little more because he's trying to put that persona forward. You know what I mean? Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, Drake, man, he's a he's a wild one himself, <laughs> man. He's a wild one himself. He was recently in Harlem at the Apollo, him and uh, 21 Savage. Yeah, you said that, man. Man, 21, can you do something for me? <laughs> <laughs> why, why you want 21 to do something for you? What the fuck is going on? Why are you trying to get him in trouble? You know what I mean? Why, why? What you ask Q to do something for you? Eh? <laughs> well, Q's been doing a whole lot, boy. That's why you're here today. Uh, man, oh, man, that little Uzi Vert, man. I, something special right there, dog. Real talk. All right, what's next on the calendar? Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. Let's go there. Let's, 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 let's go. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go right there. Yeah. Okay. I want to say this. You want to set this up, G Money? I think it will be a I, lot I, better coming, being set up by you. And let me fall. Let me just finish it off. Um. This is uh. <laughs> props to. <laughs> You know, it's just, it's wild to set up. This is a, some people would consider it would not expect, I didn't expect this opinion. Like, this is like not something that would like cross my mind, but it makes complete sense. Mm. How is that? This is not something that Mm. to cross racial boundaries and to unite people, this is not something I would have thought of, but I 100% agree with it. I like that setup. <laughs> I like that setup. Go ahead, press play. What do you do if you get lost? Find a big black guy. You find a big black guy, and what do you tell him? That I know. That you're lost? Yeah. Okay. And I find my home. Okay. Oh, do I need to do mm, Stop right there. I love that there are moms, white moms, at home educating their kids to, and, and I, you know what, I, I want, I want to play that second half. I want, the, I want people to see where that shit came from. Play that second half. Because that shit is so hard right there. Oh, do I need to tell you there's a bunch of white people really upset about that video? Mm. Stitching it, duetting it in the comments. Oh, this is racist. Actually, if you want to be real about it, statistically, based on the data, any child would be safer approaching a strange black man than they would a strange white man. So let's look at some numbers. Uh, Convictions of possessing images of children. White people, 86%. While black make up only 4 I'd say white people damn near cornered the market. Now, when you talk about assault of a child, the numbers are a little bit different, but white people still excel. Uh, 42% are white, 18% are black. But I feel these numbers might be skewed. For example, Hispanic make up 10% of the abuse. They also make up 10% of the possession of images. So those seem to be pretty close to each other, while these other numbers are way off. Now factor in that black people are seven times more likely to be wrongfully convicted of a serious crime, including that kind of assault, than white people are. 
Then think about all of the priests that the Catholic Church hid and protected and moved around. All of the pastors that we've recently found out the Southern Baptists were protecting. Think about all of the well-respected white... Mm. He, he, he can go on forever, huh? <laughs> I, 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 well, I, what I know is this. I know if a little white child was to fall into my possession, I, first of all, I think it's a setup. <laughs> I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you cornering me, kid? But at the end of the day, real talk, real talk, I will make it my duty to get that kid back to his family. Because that's the that's just where we need to be. We have to protect our kids. We got to protect our women, bro. Like we have to. This is a must. You know. Um, I just really think it's awesome that that white lady is out there teaching that kid to protect herself. Mm. How'd you feel about that? I I you know a part of me is thinking I was like I wonder if there's a specific street and a specific black guy that she might lose her kid around and then she might be looking for a date and using her kid as a setup. I think that 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 crossed my mind at one point. Oh my god. But I do still Jesus. stand by the data and the advice. <laughs> this fucking kid, man. Oh my god. Oh. That was that was really good. That was really good. Good information here today, man. They gonna stop. You know, white people are starting to wake up. And I know that's not what those folk want. They really starting to see that black people ain't who they're painting us out to be. Mm. That Fox Five narrative is not it's not what the fuck it's supposed to be, man. And I'm telling you some real shit. Play that. Play that. Telling y'all some real shit. They get killed because it's not in the best interest for this country. You got to take that from the top. Mm, I bet. There you go. You got to understand this country. And this is what I mean about how we're all fucked over. Anyone who has effectively preached us all getting together on a human level mm -hmm. has been shot. Malcolm X, when he was saying white devil, blue-eyed devil, crackers separate, he was living a wonderful, wonderful yeah. life. When he saw a different thing when he went to Mecca, came back home and said, man, I got to rethink what I've been saying, he got killed. Because Gandhi got killed. Jesus got killed. JFK galvanized races. People who galvanize races, man, they get killed. Because it's not in the best interest for this country, for the people who, who race prey. Come on, y'all. That that means if this show was to get lit, I would be in danger. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying, man? Because all I've been preaching is that all we got is us. <laughs> That's all I've been preaching. So imagine if this show caught wind with its pandemonium and all its chaos. But in the midst of all of that, the gem of all of us being together, united, unified. I t they, bro, I would be on the chopping block. I would be on the chopping block because I really believe that. I really feel that way, man. Like, all we got is us, and these times is getting crazier and crazier. Crazier and fucking crazier, man. And if you don't fucking believe me, this next sketch... This next bit that we're about to go into is uh, at a comedy show. Ironically, you know, I'm so I've been so safe recovering, but I want to. I need y'all to. I need y'all to fucking understand how one person can turn a crowd against you. Hey, yo. I mean, your actions can turn the crowd against you, but the, the person that, from someone in the crowd to throw a, a match on <laughs> to ignite that fire, dog? Oh, my God, son. Yo, this is some crazy shit we about to uh, bear witness to, but, whoo, bro. 
Yeah, tell me who's wrong here. Or press play. Because I don't come down to the bus station and slap the dick out of your mouth when you're working, do I? <laughs> oh, get on up here, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Give me security. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. The guy fucking came at me. What do you think, folks? <laughs> Okay, show them. <laughs> that was unnecessary. <laughs> they play and he press, keep pressing. Keep playing and you see it. You see it, nigga. Press play. In Oklahoma, kind of like this guy. you know? No, really, don't mess with me because I don't come down to the bus oh. station. Hold oh, on. Was that, was that, that wasn't the end. No, nah, that was the, uh. Well, you sent it to me twice. I'll go back to the to the first one. Oh my God! Oh, we got because we got to talk. It's so much that 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 ended. That was it. Yeah, that was it. That was it on that. Oh, one. it kept going. Hold on, yeah, it was a whole bunch on that shit, man. It was a whole lot on that shit. Uh, 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 uh. And I know. When that motherfucker hit that guy <laughs> with that guitar. The way he casually went back hey, to yo, two. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo. It's so much that has to be discussed about those actions. And we got to get to the bottom of that shit today. Because, nigga. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's the one you just sent me. This is that one. That's the one I got, and he sent it on the other account. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God, dude. Fucking A. It might be in there. It might be in that one. There's a bunch of Ric Flair's in there. <laughs> Here we go. No, really, don't mess with me, because I don't come down to the bus station and slap the dick out of your mouth when you're working, do I? Oh, oh get on up here, motherfucker. <laughs> Give me security. Dude, that was I'm sorry, man. The guy fucking came at me. What do you think, folks? No way. Okay, show them. That was unnecessary. It was unnecessary. You mean Oklahoma? Kind of like this guy. Did you know? No, really, don't mess with me. Cause I don't... Uh, yeah. This is it, man. This is the only... That, that, that was it. Yeah. I, okay. <laughs> all right. Let's get to the bottom of this, all right? First and foremost, that's what happens... When a crowd just gets behind you and that adrenaline just starts <laughs> rushing. There was no need. And the crowd should be ashamed of themselves for putting that fuel in that top gun. Yeah. Y'all niggas did that. They did. They did it. I that, saw it. Ah, he, he just had it. Yo, take it from top. Let's go. I'm going to break this shit down. I don't come down to the bus station and slap the dick out of your mouth when you're working, do I? Oh, oh get on up here, motherfucker. You, see? You hear them? You hear them going crazy? And, and at this point, he just got him caught. But at, it gets crazier. It goes up a notch or two. And uh, you know the white. Woo! You know that white. Woo. Not the nature boys. Woo! It's a different kind of. Woo! That just says, do it. They're not saying it in the words, but the sound insinuates, <laughs> do it. Press play. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Give me security. And then he has the nerve to say, give me security, nigga. 
Wow, bro. <laughs> Yo, fam. It's the crowd's fault. And it's his fault. But who really brought it to life was the lady <laughs> that started off with a ver- or originally saying that was unnecessary, tagged in. No way, Jose. <laughs> and then went back to that was so necessary. I knew she was a problem when he asked. And she said, no way, Jose. <laughs> Press play. Watch. Oh, God, that was that was I'm sorry, ma'am. The guy fucking came at me. What do you think, folks? No way. Stop. Okay, show. Stop. No way, Jose. And then I want you to pay attention how he tried to guilt them into. All right, well, show's over. (laughs) And trying to bring. (laughs) Pay attention to that part. Take it back a little bit. I can't take it back a little bit on Instagram. All right, go ahead. Press play. He's all. That was <laughs> you can tell she's a team leader of something wherever she's at. Right, everyone? Wasn't that unnecessary? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God, man. Like, oh, that was crazy. That was crazy. What did you see in there? I saw, Um, I was expecting, when you said that to me, I was expecting you to be pumped about that guy doing that and that like if i had a guitar if you, if you had a, a tool on stage or a a, a a prop would be a weapon for you <laughs> oh, um i you know what i think i when that guy uh the crowd did cheer him on and then they he kind of mistook cuz he was wiggling the guitar in a funny way he kind of did like a little baseball pose and people were that was a funny thing to do and he mistook that for encouragement that he should fucking <laughs> hit one across this guy's face. I did look this guy up, and he was, uh, I forget his name, uh, Kenny Moore, I think it was, but uh, he's a Vietnam vet, too, so he might have some, <laughs> he might have been looking for that, that fight. That says it all. <laughs> that says it all. A Vietnam vet. That says it all. When I was in a hole, <laughs> this shit called Grand Wyndham, yeah, they hired anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had a I had a duel, uh, an ongoing fuel going on with two Vietnam vets. <laughs> one was you know jagged edge kinda, but the other one was head on. Jagged edge was John. He spoke dude language. Like <laughs> one time, my mom's brought me a uh, Batman outfit, the Batman shorts. This is when Batman first came out with it. Where um. Uh, Michael Keaton and uh, Jack uh-huh. Nicholson. Um, she bought me a Batman outfit with, uh, with a Batman symbol on the shorts and a Batman symbol in the middle. And I was so fat at the time. <laughs> and Chinese slippers, too. And I went over to maintenance, and I was throwing rocks at them. And John, <laughs> it spoke dude language. He's like, hey, you. Fat man. <laughs> you want to fuck with me? He started running up the hill. I don't know if you've ever tried to run. When you're laughing your ass off, you can't run. I had to think of stuff that was serious and scary <laughs> to get me in focus to run fast. And then Andre, he just didn't give a fuck. I was on my public enemy. You can't trust this shit. I had to... Um, the Pittsburgh pirate hat with the army jacket, and I said some fly shit to him going to the clothing room with Mr. Holcomb, and that nigga jumped off of the motherfucking stairs and kicked me in the face with tactical boots on (laughs) and commenced the whooping my motherfucking fucking ass, dog. I'm talking about slinging me into the walls, kicking me in my chest, my ribs. Oh my god, man. He did everything that he was supposed to do. And with that being said, people, 
I know what y'all been waiting for. I know this is what you've been longing for and everything that you want. And who am I to fucking keep you from it? It's G Money Talk! I don't want peace. I want problems, always. Yes! <laughs> yes, he does. And that's me, too. I'm spitting 16 mini lines from a 603. G Money, what you got for me? Come on, come on. G Money, what you got for me? We got Jimmy over there in the Buffalo plaid. Lad, in, in the Buffalo stance. Come on, G Money, what you got for me? It's the 30 minute mark. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. All right. Shout out to Josh as always for that. Josh, the star of the new Netflix uh, documentary, uh, Kai the Hitchhiker, uh, Hatchet Wielding Hitchhiker. Got that sign in there. Fucking shout out to Josh. Uh, shout out to the Patreon. Those like, those of you guys who are still there. Shout out to everyone listening right now. We're strong, back. We're, we're coming strong, back. Strong. Mark, on a consistent those, level with it. One and, thing uh, Lewis did say, and he was right about that. Um, you're going to have your core group mm. of motherfuckers that fuck with you. And that's your group. That's that's your, you know, every everybody else will be around for the hype and all that shit, but... Mm-hmm. Your core group. Oh, yeah. That's who they are, man. So we've, shout out to you guys. We've known who you guys are, too. Like, you guys been fucking... <laughs> been with it. Fire in the hole! That, there we go, guys. That's for y'all, man. We should be giving everybody else guns to lose. <laughs> What's going on with this dog? This, <laughs> I found this. You know, I, I don't have enough videos on G Money Talk that I just think are awesome. You know, there's not always something to talk about. There's not always... This is something that I did not know existed, but I guess why not? It's a uh, a dog chiropractor, <gasps> and it, I went through. I spent a whole day at work just watching these videos and not and not and getting nothing done. So just fucking check this shit out. <laughs> yeah, nigga, you better make sure he good. You better make sure he good, bro. Yeah, I couldn't do that with a pet. Nah, that nigga was like, whoa, 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 whoa. You deceived me. I'm attacking you. I'm attacking you. Yo, play that shit again. That dog look up at that nigga like, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for your, what, 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 what you, how you responded. That nigga played the smooth by staying still, too. Go ahead. Poor dog. That's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> that shit could have turned out bad. He look at him looking back. He know. That he knows. <laughs> It's 50 50. Yeah. Yo, that's an ill job as a uh, edible chiropractor. But here's my thing, man. Why the fuck are you taking your dog to a chiropractor? Nah. Like, he, he showed, yo, 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 I got to go to the chiropractor, yo. Like, yo, y'all making shit up. Y'all making shit up, bro. That's crazy. That poor dog, man. I was thinking that when I was watching it this time, like the type of person, how do you find out your dog needs to go to a chiropractor and being that type of person where your vet says, uh, your, your dog has bad posture and not saying like, so like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? My dog has bad, you know, like whatever's wrong with their spine or whatever. What? <laughs> bro, bro. This is some white people shit. Yeah, definitely. This is definitely. not, that, come on, man. I mean, Making shit up, bro. Straight the fuck up. I'm just but, glad the dog's okay, man. I'm, but, I'm glad he's okay because they both had a, a standoff of standing <laughs> still real quick. They, they they understood their assignments because that dog didn't have to stay still. That nigga, I know that look. <laughs> I know that look <laughs> where... A dog is trying to inquire about the mood. <laughs> like, what? 
That's the look right there. I know that look. <laughs> I know that look, dog, where the dog gives you this that from regular because they normally regular like this. But the moment they give you that switch and tilt to the side, <laughs> they're trying to figure out, wait a moment, what's going on here? <laughs> Should I attack? Look at the nigga eyes. <laughs> I didn't like that. He didn't like that. That that's the look I searched through went this through this guy's whole Instagram page looking for dogs of like once he cracks them, them look at him like, what the fuck was that? And then being okay after. Oh my gosh. Nah, nah. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm just glad that dog so pretty. Look at the little baby. So <laughs> adorable. That dog looks awesome, too. Oh, man. What else we got in G-Money Talk? Uh, well, you know, the uh, NFL- Dog chiropractor. Dog this is chiropractor. fucking crazy, man. White people, y'all got to stop making up shit. We got enough shit to focus on on Earth. Real talk. Um, uh, Super Bowl's coming around the corner. NFL playoffs are uh, are in full swing. It was a tough week to be a, a Cowboys fan, which I am. I had to root for the Giants because I fucking hate the Eagles more than I hate the Giants, but the Eagles won. Um, I don't take it this hard anymore. This next guy t- uh, took the boys' loss pretty hard. I, re- I remember, like, the last time I got super mad at a Cowboys game, and I'm like, and the whole next day I was fucking pissed. Like, I was a dick to people in school. Like, people would say something like, shut the fuck up, man. I don't want, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling it today. And, like, I can't do that shit anymore. It's, it's too exhausting. You said there's too much shit to worry about than to get a dog chiropractor. There's too much shit for me to worry about than to be upset at a football team losing. But this is in, you know. This guy probably carried with him the whole day, but this wasn't the heat of the moment. But check this guy out. <laughs> mm. That's even it's even crazier when the when the family member laughs because <laughs> like, that, that that now he's in the eye of my anger. You know? <laughs> yeah, you laugh, what you All that dumb. Yeah, it's not worth it. Uh, do you know what's the worst thing about football too? Is that like I watched the I watched the end of that game. Uh, I don't watch the whole thing, but like with football, you know you're gonna lose, and there's three minutes left. So they had a chance. They had like a chance to get a touchdown, but it was like a hail mary. They had to go ninety yards. That's not it. Running game is it? Running game. I bet on that game. I bet for Dallas. Yeah. It was just so Ezekiel didn't show up. Dak didn't show up. It was just like ah. Where was you niggas' energy from last week? Yeah. I know Jerry Jones went up in that motherfucking <laughs> locker room and said, all you niggers are fired. All of you! That kind of got swept under the rug, the Jerry Jones thing. Right? I mean, I, it wasn't like, listen, what could they really do about it? Listen, you know, like, Listen, my nigga. He's, he's a billionaire. white. <laughs> he's rich. He's old. And he's not black. So, of course, it's not going to stick around. <laughs> N- neither did the Brett Farr shit, you know? Yeah. L- like, yo, bro, hey, the black man is the most ridiculed, shitted on. Hey, yo, bro, the, the, <sighs> black man can't get a shake. We can't, you know? We got to just keep dancing. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, a lot of shit got swept under the rug, man. A lot of shit got swept under the rug during the season, but it is what the fuck it is, bro. We understand the assignment. We know we're in the midst of. Mm. 
you know. But ah, I fucking wanted them to win. Just like I wanted the Giants to win. I haven't watched football all season. Yeah. We were watching. We were watching the recaps the other day, and you saw the Giants quarterback. You're like, I like this guy. He was rambunctious. <laughs> I did like him, man. I just thought that he was unorthodox. Um, I like. I like that. No, you can't. You don't know what he's gonna do next. But the Eagles did. Yeah. They knew. They knew, they knew everything. <laughs> they knew everything. <laughs> I didn't watch that game either, but. I heard they lost, so there was no need for me to. I was just like, fucking A. I'm sorry. No, so listen, man. That's fucking. That's what it is. This guy, you know, he just made me think of uh, this this Cowboys fan here. My friend used to be, when Conor McGregor was like really starting to pop and it was like fucking, he was the biggest thing. My one friend who's uh, Irish, not from Ireland or anything, but, you know, fucking Irish people, how happy they are they're Irish. He, uh, was so into Conor McGregor. Anytime he had a fight, he would have uh, people over and stuff. He'd get fucking super drunk. He had a big Irish flag that he would, like, wear around the fucking thing. So one time Conor McGregor lost, and we're just like, the whole time we're egging him out, he's going to lose, whatever. When he loses, we're just, like, shitting on him, and he throws his chair through his fucking wall. <laughs> and then after that, just just someone ashamed sitting, wrapped in a flag, like... <laughs> there was nothing not funny about it. <laughs> oh my god, hilarious! And, but it's the same thing too. You know, it's like everyone's egging him on. They were probably egging him on that whole time. This guy, you know, with the three minutes left when they were losing, like, that, what are they doing, dude? Come on, shut the fuck up! Shut up! They got it, you know, whatever. And fucking, then you just explode, and half the room goes, <gasps> just like when the comedian hit him with the guitar. They go. <gasps> And then a couple of people go fucking like they just laugh their ass off. Oh my god, dude! I was watching the end of that game, man. I was I, I was watching the end of that game. One fucking niggas yelling. <laughs> All right, what do we got next here? Next, um, how do I set this up? You ever try to be? You want to be helpful? And you just fuck it up. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, that's me. <laughs> Nine times out of fucking ten, that's me, man. Unreal. Oh, this 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 guy can relate right here. Hey, 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 hey. Better fix. <laughs> hey, uh. Left the fucking gate there to do that, nigga. <laughs> that nigga said, "Run the fake, 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 fake." Run the fake one more time. Oh shit! Hey, 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 hey! Oh my god! I know the guy driving is like this fucking idiot, man. I'm not driving him home tonight. You can tell he normally gives him a drive <laughs> or a ride or something like that. Oh man, when he he's probably not even going to admit to it too. Like, did I hit that? Like, I I don't know. Did you? Did you? Hit? I didn't hear it. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? You hit it in the way. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, uh, this next video has a uh, the same has the same theme to it. It's you know when you want to help and you fuck up, but this guy kind of bails on he helping. That other guy just fuck it up. This guy got about halfway through and realized. This this isn't really for me. I, I, I'm gonna let this guy. You got this. All right, cool. And left it to this guy alone. Oh my goodness. Take that shit from the top again? Hey, yo. Why are you letting go? 
Why did they get as recording starting off a song? He he knew he had. <laughs> he knew what was gonna happen. He knew something was. Bow, bow. <laughs> Start that shit over. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. He oh, even got the stop, oh. stop. Watch him get the kid involved. Start, started from the beginning. <laughs> started from the beginning. <laughs> 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 Fuck it, eh? I know that nigga upset. Oh, shit. That was probably his transportation. Oh, yeah. On bitches and all that shit. <laughs> man, man. Yeah, man. Oh, shit. That's all I got for G Money Talk this week. Hey, hey. You know, well, we go, we go, go. We going to go right here with my man that be playing around. Yeah. Yeah. Stop playing. If you the weed man out here, dog, stop playing. Nigga, niggas is trying to really get high. <laughs> niggas is really out here trying to get high. Y'all out here fucking playing around. When niggas ain't playing around. Don't 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 let it man listen. Nigga. An aggressive customer. <laughs> that nigga still getting his bearings together. He was trying to stump for that tootie, and that tootie was laughing at him. Press play. I ain't playing with you, cuz. Oh. What the fuck is the weed at? Cuz, I'll slap you again, cuz. What's cracking, cuz? Oh, my goodness. What's up, cuz? Cuz, you, you gonna play? Oh. You gonna act? Hey, I'm talking to you. You gonna play with me? Can I buy some weed or not? I'm trying. Uh, uh, uh. What the fuck? Nah, bruh. Nah. That's a that's a mixture of things. There's something else going on there. He's, that's that's just <laughs> his bitch just told him he gotta move out. <laughs> that nigga went and bought some go get some got an argument with Yeah, you right. You're right. The the next part of this video he goes, I'm sorry, man, I had a rough day. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! Oh my god, man! Epic, a fucking <laughs> epic. But people don't know, man. We, bro, we is it. That's a drug that, yo, man. It's not even a drug. They really had to try to put that shit on that shit. I'm glad they woke up and realized, nigga. Come on, man! You got pastors and reverends talking about it now. Mm. Shit, hell, even the the, the minister, Farrakhan, he, he, he used to smoke on that thag. You don't believe me? Let him say, tell y'all his own mouth. Press play. Yeah, I used to smoke reefer. Reefer. <laughs> reefer, nigga. <laughs> what? What? Preachers, we gotta stop lying. Huh? Huh? Making people think we fell down from heaven. Talk about it. While we coming up from hell. Mm. Yeah, but I never liked being high. I, I smoke reefer. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I did, did hashish? I, no, the hashish, no doubt. Ben, 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 whatever that. 
when my friend started in the coke, I said, no, baby, I ain't going there. All right, so, nigga. All right. That's where, that's where, the, yo, one thing, I have never, I have never been turned on from the idea or, 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 or had the notion to want to or anything with coke, man. Shooting up any of that shit, dog. Like, if it ain't weed, yeah, I, I fuck with an E pill every now and then. You know, I played around with some Molly, but nigga, that Coke, that Coke snorting in your nose. Uh uh-uh. uh. I had an agent. One time from Don Buckwald and Associate trying to woo me to sign with them. And this is the agent they put on me. This nigga riding around with a quarter of cocaine inside the Ziploc bag. At every stop sign, not red light, stop sign, this nigga taking the bump. Asking me, hey, you want to hit this man? I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. He's like, good for you, man. This shit is so fucking gnarly. <laughs> as he takes another fucking bump. No, oh, bro. Nah. Nah. Cocaine? Nah, bro. You ever hang out with niggas on cocaine? It's a, it's a good chance you niggas is going to go through the bookings. <laughs> These niggas got a surge of energy that they don't even understand what to do with it. They're just fast. Cocaine niggas is fast. Everything is. I don't even like to hang out with niggas on coke, bro. Weed and coke don't go together. Weed is a slow down. Cocaine is a go fast. And nigga sniffing fucking five lines back to back to back to back to back. And after nigga sniffed all five, he came up and went, I'm Maverick. (laughs) Yo, dog. When that nigga said that, I said, yep, and I'm going home. (laughs) And I caught a cab home, bro. I knew where that night was going, bro. I knew where that night was going. Matter of fact, Raleigh got his jaw shattered hanging out with that nigga that night, dog. Mm. Fighting, fighting for him. I mm, probably want to walk around with a shattered jaw because you, you want to take five lines of cocaine. I know what Minister Farrakhan is talking about. Because once you go down that road, this the kind of shit niggas go be doing in broad daylight. Press play. Wow. Wow. Niggas snorting coke at the bottom of the escalator during rush hour. Yeah, I'll tell you, I don't know I don't know anything about doing coke or nothing like that, but that is a white people tactic that I've used before with weed where you just it's called hiding in plain sight, where you just do it in public and then assume nothing bad will happen. And then most of the time it doesn't. <laughs> and, and that's some real white shit right <laughs> that's there, like, dog. That's some real that's the, white that's <laughs> way of thinking. That's that, yeah, boy. White people, y'all just know y'all got powers, right? Yeah, I could just do this. I could just do this. And he's like, "There's no cops here, there, or behind me." And what are these people gonna say? Boom! <laughs> I'm just gonna do one. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> oh, I gotta just take a breath real quick, bro. That shit crazy. Oh, shit. You know, one thing I hate is going, you know, he's talking about the sports events and shit like that. One thing I fucking hate about going out to sports is being next to disrespectful, odorific 
motherfuckers that's next to you moving around like they ain't got no stench. And you're stuck. And you're stuck. They don't have no respect, but this is one young lady I can respect. Because she respect the atmosphere. <laughs> she didn't lie to herself with her stench. She's an unsung hero, man. Press play. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. That bitch real. She was like, hold on. Whoa. Where that? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One more time, man. Say, it's that look around. Players, Scott, it's, it's, it's a game tonight for North Little Rock. It's a shame. It's like, oh, shit. <laughs> you caught that camera? Oh, my God. You want to set this last video up before we get out of here? With this? Oh, man. You know, all I can say is you, if you don't check, you never know. You can never be too sure, and if you haven't tried it, you don't you don't know. I agree. If that happened, then maybe I can. Nope. <laughs> Sometimes, man, sometimes I really be thinking, like, if I chant this shit correctly, (laughs) I can become He-Man, Masters of the Universe. I used to, as a kid, I remember in Grand Wyndham, I used to take the broomstick that was broke. And try to do the exact mannerism and use the same voice tone as Adam did turning into He-Man. <laughs> By the power of Skull, I have the power. <laughs> He-Man. Never mind. I, I'm i not even going to. G-Money, if they want to get in touch with the <laughs> show, they want to communicate with us in any way, form, or fashion, how could they do that, man? They can follow the show on Twitter and Instagram, at Fire on the Hole uh, They could uh, sh- subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we get clips of the show and the audio version of the show, but you can only get a video version of the show at patreon.com slash fire in the hole. That's right, patreon.com slash fire in the hole. Uh, if you want to send us an email, you could send us an email at fire in the hole NY at gmail.com. Or you could send us some artwork at P.O. Box 3553, New York, New York, 10027. P.O. Box 3553, New York, New York, 10027. I I, I believe I could be here, man. But, hey, man, I hope y'all got the message today, man. Conflict delayed is conflict multiplied. Handle that shit. Don't run from it. Run towards it. Run through it. Fuck that. We love you guys. And y'all niggas know, man, how to get in touch with me, man. 917-792-1593. With that being said, love you guys and fire! You know what that is. Fire in the hole!